Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Gabe's to here. This is the normal DPS guide for Siegecrafter Blackviews. As always, feel free to click on the annotations to check out other guides, even the full raid guide if you want more details. But this should guide normal DPS players to getting through this fight successfully and knowing the basics that you need to know. So the most important mechanic for this fight as a DPS is the assembly line. You can see the assembly line in the background there in the top left. Uh, basically to the north of the room, every 30 seconds, three random weapon parts will spawn and travel along the assembly line there, along the conveyor belt. When these weapon parts reach the end of the conveyor belt, they will be constructed, uh, once there's enough of them, into finished weapons that will appear along the south of the room and start to attack the raid. So it is up to DPS players to properly get onto the assembly line on the north and kill one of the weapon parts in each wave. So the way you do this is to step into the transport pipes that are along the west wall. Any of the pipes that don't have smoke coming out should allow you to transport in, th in them and just Mario style, you'll be dropped into the, uh, the front of the assembly line. Now, each time you do this, you gain a debuff that lasts for a minute called, uh, what is it called? Pattern recognition, sorry. And pattern recognition forces you to not go into the transport pipe for a minute. So this means that because the weapon parts spawn every 30 seconds, uh, you cannot go in there back to back. Instead, you have to rotate at least two groups of players to handle the assembly line weapon part. So we used two groups of two players each rotating back and forth. Basically two B DPS would go into the assembly line. They would kill one weapon part. Once you kill one weapon part, the others become immune. So there's no point to staying on there. Then when you reach the end of the assembly line on the right hand side, there are some uh, pipes that you can step into that will transport you out again back to the main platform. So you just keep rotating uh, every group rotates every minute essentially so that one group's going every 30 seconds every time they spawn you kill your weapon part you dodge the lasers that are up there so you don't get killed and then at the end you step in the pipe and you come back to the main platform and if you're involved in this process you just keep repeating that until the fight ends pretty basic stuff now aside from the assembly line management on the main platform there are a number of things you can do to avoid extra damage the main thing is if you're chased by a laser, run it to the side of the room and don't stand in the fire. Uh, the other thing is if a crawler mine targets you, make sure you run away from it while DPSing it, especially if you're a ranged player. If it gets in melee range of you, it will explode and hit the entire raid for pretty heavy damage. You can use stuns, snares, roots, all that stuff on the crawler mines. So make sure you try to CC them in some way while DPSing them from range if possible. If you're a melee, you can't really DPS the mines unless it's fixated on a different player. The final thing to dodge on the main platform is the Shredder Blades. These are cast by the main boss, and he'll target you, sort of, so you get kind of a warning when he's launching one toward you. But otherwise, you just sidestep it, and then they stay stationary until the magnetic crush goes off. Uh, the other major ability is a missile that will land kind of in the front area of the room. And this will create orange waves of spikes that shoot up in sort of uh, rings around the room. So simply wait for a ring to come near you. And then once it goes off, step through it so that you're safely on the other side of the pattern and it'll just pass you by, basically. Um, so that's pretty much it for avoidable damage. Uh, everything else is unavoidable. So just hopefully your healers will handle everything. The final thing is just general DPS priorities. So there's not a lot going on in this fight. As long as you're doing your assembly uh, line stuff when you're meant to and you're killing one weapon part there and then getting out, the only other priority is the crawler mines if you're on the main platform. If there aren't any crawler mines, then you're on the boss. You should never be attacking the shredder because you'll be doing 20% less damage because of its uh, armor debuff that it has. So essentially, always be on the boss. And as long as everyone kills an assembly part every time they spawn, the boss will always take full damage and you'll just be able to kill him off over time. 
So that is the normal DPS guide for Siegecrafter Blackfuse. As always, good luck and thanks for watching.